Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. I, I, I have angry and I am sweet. <laughs> angry or hungry? Hungry, hungry. Hungry, okay, okay, okay. You were hungry. What time do you get home after work? Oh, no. <laughs> no, but at what time? What time do you arrive to your house after work? Oh, seven, seven thirty o'clock is I arrive at my house. Seven thirty. Yes, seven thirty. Oh, and at what time do you leave to your work? I am work is is uh, in the morning in. I, uh, eight o'clock in the afternoon is uh, six o'clock. So you have to be in your workplace at 8 a.m. and you finish working at 6 p.m. Six hour. Eight a.m. Uh, six p.m. Oh, so you work almost all day long. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I have hours ten hours ten hours ten hours yes yes that's a lot that's a lot okay welcome guys welcome miguel welcome marielos welcome julio julio i see you again welcome sirhan so thank you guys for being here in the class and thank you for your punctuality i know sometimes um your classmates are not very much on time but they try I have something to tell you <clears throat> that I have just, I need to confirm this information, but I think that we're going to have classes tomorrow. And did they tell you if this course is going to be from Monday to Friday? According, sorry. Continue, Julio, I'm sorry. According email, yes. From Monday to Friday, five days by week. Yeah, they, that's what I thought. I saw a message and they say that it's from Monday to Friday. Yes, and I'm, I'm saying that it's, that it's the same question for the uh, administration people of English Corporativo. I say uh -huh. the class uh, the Monday and Friday. Yeah, because it's supposed that they have to finish this program by April 27th. 27th? Yeah. It's one month. This is what they are saying. Okay. So basically, we're going to be working tomorrow and then the next week, the whole week. Monday to Friday and, sat and Saturday. No Saturday, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no Saturday, no. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't work on Saturdays. On Saturdays, I go to San Salvador and I work in San Salvador. Do the excelling Saturday? Oh, do you really? Yes. I Online. Dynamic tables. What is it? I am course of the dynamic tables. And, and and do you work, do you study online? Yes. Oh, it's online. Okay. Okay, I understand. Okay. Now guys, um so yes, I suppose that this course is going to be from Monday to Friday. So starting on month I mean yesterday that we started, then we're going to have classes today and tomorrow. And then the whole week uh, from four, five, I mean, four, fifth, six, seven, eighth. And then we're gonna go on vacation. That's maybe that's why they're doing from Monday to Friday, because then we're gonna be on vacation from like the Holy Week. It's gonna be from Monday Christmas. to Friday. 
Okay. So we're not we're not gonna have classes um, in that week. That is from the eleventh till the fifteenth. Okay, for me, no problem. Let's do this. Yeah, I know, but uh, they in Safor doesn't work or English cooperative doesn't work that week. So we're not we're not allowed to teach classes during that time. Okay. 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 Very good. Now, um, we're gonna start because either way your classmates are here or not, we have to start because it's time already and we cannot be waiting for them all the time, right? So I'm gonna go here and ask you to write the date. It's the last date you're gonna write for March. So please write it and send it to the chat. Give me just one second, I'm gonna be back. Hello, sorry, sorry, guys. It was an emergency. Let me see. Thursday, 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 Thursday. Mm, I see a problem here. Teddy. Some people didn't even write it. Now the letters to the name to the to the date. <clears throat> the letters. Only. Let me see. Marielos. Yes. I know the problem. Yeah, you see, you, 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 you saw it? Yeah. Marielos got it right. And then Alex Haco got it right. Yeah, exactly, Me? Sirhan, exactly. That which yeah. is just correct. Remember that the dates are like this. Sorry. For example, 30, yes, yesterday was 30th, but today is 30, 30 what? 31st. 31st, that's why we are going to write the last two letters, the last two letters, okay? So it's 31st, so we, when we write the date, it's gonna be Thursday, March, 31st, 2020, <coughs> sorry, today, I'm sorry guys, but today I have a lot of allergies and cough. I think it's not a flu, but I, uh, <coughs> my apologies. <coughs> Thursday, March 31st, 2022. I mean, 2022. Someone says something? Did, did someone say something? No? No? Okay, perfect. Now let's continue. I'm gonna share the topic. Oh guys, also, yesterday I asked you 
Uh, if you, I don't know, can understand when I say I lose track of time or lost track of time and things like that, okay? So I'm gonna teach you idioms. Idioms in English help us sound more natural when speaking. So instead of saying, instead of saying, I didn't know what time it was, you are gonna say, I'm sorry, I lost track of time. I lost a track of time. So I wasn't paying attention to time, so I lost track of time. I'm gonna teach you, since today, I'm gonna start teaching you one per day. So you sound more natural when speaking. Can you please read the date, Julio, the date? Sure. Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Thank you. Um, Marielos, would you mind reading the topic, please? Okay. Vocabulary, adjectives for behavior and personality. Thank you. So yes, today we're gonna be talking about adjectives to describe the behavior of a person and the personality of a person. It's more about character than physical description, right? And the first idiom that I'm gonna teach you is, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, darn it. Piece of cake. Do you know what is the meaning of piece of cake? Easy. Oh, no. It's, what do you say, Marielos? It's easy. Easy, exactly. Thank you very much. So instead of saying, it's super easy, you say, eh, piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. So like in Spanish, we say pan comido, right? So in English, they say piece of cake. Like when something, it's really easy. Is it understandable, guys? Yes. I'm gonna teach you, but like, I'm gonna show you, but uh, I don't know. Um, who here, who is from a computer right now? Who's, okay, Julio, you're from a computer. Yeah, okay. Cause I'm gonna, I cannot play the video here because of, I don't know, YouTube reasons. So I'm gonna send you the video. And you play the video for your for your classmates where there's gonna be different movies where and they are using the idiom piece of cake so you can understand better in what situations you can use it the best. Um let me wait a second. Okay, when you do you know Julio how to share the audio? Like your classmates can listen to your video. I think so. Yeah, let me yeah. try. You only send me the link. Yeah, you only go compartir pantalla and then down below when you una pantallita dice compartir sonido. You can see. Okay. It's gonna be well, but I'm gonna send it to everybody like that. It's there. So le voy a enviar un break room. Solo voy a hacer un room para que él les muestre el video a todos. And you can see where the, the idiom is being used. Okay, let's go there.
Hello, Briselda. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Good evening. I have what? a bad connection. Oh, you have a bad connection right now. Yes. Are I'm you connected. Home? No. <laughs> I'm late. I'm going to be home right now for oh, work. Okay. okay. Um, your classmates are watching a video. I'm going to send you to a room, okay? Okay, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello, did you watch the video? Yes. Okay, okay. But your classmates are still in the break room. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for them. Okay. Anyways, they are coming right now. Perfect. With those idioms, the reason to, to show you those idioms is so you can understand that idioms make you sound, sound more natural when speaking in English. So don't say, like what I was telling you, don't say it's easy, just like a piece of cake. And people will understand that you're talking that something is easy. Like in Spanish, I was saying, if you say, um, camarón que se duerme se lo lleva a la corriente, people, someone is learning Spanish and they're gonna be like, what? What do you mean? I don't understand. So it's the same in English. The idioms are phrases that sometimes they don't make sense. They don't have sense, like they don't make sense. But when you understand the meaning behind that, it's going to be like, oh, that's what they want to say. Like, a caballo regalado no se le busca lado. Like, what do you mean by that? Oh, it's like when someone gives you, or gives you something, you don't say that it's bad because the, it's, it's free, right? It's, if it is free, you don't complain about it. That's basically what it is. So, but... Could you listen in the video, people talking about the piece of cake? And could you could you listen to the phrases? Yes, teacher. Right. So now, if you can watch many series or videos or movies in English, you're gonna notice when they say piece of cake. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go and talk about behavior. How would you describe behavior? 
for personality. I'm gonna play a video for you and then we'll talk about that. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Here is, if you can see, we have different adjectives that they are there to describe personality or behavior, not to describe physical condition, conditions, right? So ambitious, someone that likes to have um, or likes to achieve different things that I'm very ambitious about this or it can be a bit ambitious in a bad way like ambitious with the money okay for example now they are asking you here if you can describe how you were in I'm sorry guys I'm on, I have a sorry ah sorry okay um here I have a list of different uh, adjectives to describe personality. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I have allergies today, I told you. I apologize. Ah. Okay, so adjectives for describing people's behavior. Okay, so here you have different ones. I want you to look at them. For example, I'm gonna read them all for you and try to pick the ones that best describe you, how you were in your teens, like when you were a teenager, and the ones that describe how you are right now, that you're a grown up person. The first one is good, positive, kind, thoughtful, pleasant, stable, respectful, safe, Trustworthy, polite, appropriate, orderly, adaptable, rational, social, hospitable, healthy, spontaneous, calm, cooperative, decent, engaging, proper, Courageous, genuine, tolerant, decisive, 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 decisive. I'm, I'm confused about this one. Cautious, funny, neighborly, gallant, entertaining, prudent, tactful, captivating, courteous, enthusiastic. Brave, responsive, friendly, circumspect, pragmatic. If you don't know the meaning of one of these, you can look it up on the internet right now. And now, let's try to think. Uh, these all are good adjectives. Not one is a bad adjective to describe personality or behavior. But let's try to think positive and think about the good things. For example, when I was a teenager, I was respectful, always respectful. I was ad adaptable, yeah. I was not social. No, I'm not, the, I was not <laughs> like the teacher you know now. I was really shy. I didn't like to talk to people, but now I'm a teacher. How am I going to, going to live <laughs> if I'm not social, right? So now I'm sociable, but I wasn't sociable before. Um, what else, what else for this? Funny, maybe funny when I was a teenager and I think I still am, but I don't know. That's not something that I can judge. <laughs> okay, so send me to the chat 
three adjectives that you think best describe your personality right now and three adjectives that best describe your personality when you were a teenager. Is the activity clear, guys? Is, is it clear? Yes. 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 Thank you. I was not orderly. Maybe you were orderly, but I was not. I was a mess as a kid. When I was a teenager, I was naive. <laughs> that one is not there, but yes, naive. We're all naive. Like we were talking yesterday, the immature part, right? Like when we were in my short. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yo le tengo alergia a la vida. Porque el día que me muera van a ver que me van a echar a esta tierra y no voy a estornudar. I'm allergic to life. Now social, positive, and funny. Okay. I'm still waiting on a lot of people. Just a few people have sent there tome betan oh betan well i take lorata then but always the the pills for my allergies they make me sleepy and right now i can't sleep because i'm working <laughs> yeah they make me sleepy oh really okay Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write the name. <clears throat> Are they free to buy or they need a a prescription from the doctor? Because some pills are they need a prescription. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Shark oil. Ooh, when I was a teenager. What happened when you were a teenager? Why are you saying, ooh, ah, you remember it, how you were like a teenager, right? Hmm. The good old days, the golden days. <laughs> ah, I remember, like, when we were teenagers, right? Life was easier everything was better i don't know yeah teenager years okay now i'm waiting on still still waiting on, on, on the good years the good years the good years 
Did you ever watch on television the like a series, wonderful Los Años years. Dorados? Yeah, wonderful years. Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah, something. Yes, true. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go and have conversations with these questions that we have here. The first question says, how would you describe your behavior right now? How would you describe your behavior? This one here says, what is a I mean, sorry. What is a bad behavior for you? What do you consider a bad behavior in a person? Because sometimes it depends on people. And the next question is, how is an excellent behavior for you? What do you consider a, a perfect behavior in a person? Okay. Do you, uh, so what you're going to do is just ask questions and answer questions. Don't be so sure on your answers because this is a conversation practice. So I need you to go deep on your answers. Okay. Did you take a screenshot already? Take a screenshot, yeah? Yes. Perfect, yes. thank you. Please wait. Wait. Please. Why? Will you take a picture? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go, conversation practice. Join the breakout rooms, please. Accept the invitations. Marielos, did you get the invite? Hello. Excuse me, I didn't see. I don't know because I, I am. Okay. 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 Um, se la voy a enviar de nuevo, pero no sé una esa porque esa no es la suya. Esa no es la suya. Ahora okay. sí, en la dos. Yes, that okay. one is yours. Okay. You're welcome.
Pragmatic. Teacher. Are you there? Yes. Yes, tell me. Would you help us to describe what about the pragmatic behavior? You know mm -hmm. about this? I, I try to Google it right now. So you want me, what you want me to say is what is pragmatic? Yeah. Okay, a person who is pragmatic is a person that is uh, capable of dealing with sensible situations in a pragmatic way. Pragmatic is like something you do rather than theoretical. So it's not something, uh, how can I say this? Pragmatic, a person who is pragmatic, for example, a farmer is pragmatic. A industrial engineer or a agronom, like mm -hmm. like agronomy, a person who works in agronomy and has an agronomy engineering, that is a theoretical person. But the farmer is pragmatical. Do you get it? Yes. 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 So, Pragmatic, yeah. Pragmatic person is a person who can deal with different situations in a practical way. That's what I will say, a practical way. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so there is Ibis and Boris.
Hello. It seems like you didn't want to come to the main class. You were in the breaker room talking. It was a good yes. conversation. Yes. 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 You were remembering the good old days or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Hace cuánto abril? Yeah, night. Yeah, and tomorrow is April actually. Can you believe how fast this year is going? I think it's going really yeah. fast. Like we were in January and now we're about to be in April. It's crazy. Don't you think it's crazy? And sometimes I feel like we're still living in the 2020 <laughs> with the pandemic and, and all that. <laughs> I think it's still the 2020. Okay, perfect. Now. Mm, we're going here. Let me. Okay, let me show you right now. Here we have different um, the people here. So here is one person, another person, like different people doing different stuff. We have different adjectives to describe them. For example, the number one. You can see a bear and he is being what? What do you think is the best adjective for this person? Brave. Brave, correct. Second person. What is it? Talkative. Talkative? Popular. Mm. Popular. Light. I think this one is talkative. I don't know. Or this one. This one is more talkative. Mm. Well, I don't know about you, but maybe this person seems confident to me. But let, let's leave that one to the end. This one, number three, what do you think? Clever, confident, funny, generous, kind, popular. Generous. Generous. Generous, right? That one was easier. Look at this one. Hmm. Lazy. What is lazy? It's a lazy person. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> number five. I don't know. Talkative, I'm between number five and number six. What do you think is talkative? Mm. Because this one can be popular as well, right? Popular, it can be popular. Do you think this one is talkative? Do you think she's got talkative? Let's go with talkative here. Okay, this one, look at here. Oh, this is me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's something that I don't like to do, to do the, the, the things. Okay, this person, what do you think it is this person? Clever. Clever. Clever, Clever, maybe? Clever. Clever, maybe? Okay. Number eight. What do you think this person is? Popular. Number eight. Popular. No, seven. Popul popular? Okay. Let's go with popular. And number eight? Kind. Kind. Uh, yeah. Well, some nurses are kind and some nurses are really angry. Yeah. <laughs> like la del seguro social. Oh my goodness, they are angry all the time. <laughs> Even if you're kind to them, like you're, hey, miss, can you help me with this? And she's like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, they, they are so mad all the time. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go with another one. Nine. What do you think nine is a person who's happy this is dead? Confident. Confident? Yeah. You think? Everybody thinks that? Um, I think. Uh, or cheerful. Or, or, or cheerful. Or shy. Well, let, oh, she's not shy. She doesn't look any shy. Well, <laughs> let's go with this uh, one. Let's see this 12, person. 12, 12 this, are shy. 12 is shy, maybe. Yeah. But look at this person. What is this picture? Um, yeah. Happy. <laughs> I, I think the 10 is popular. 10 is popular. Do you think yeah. this one is popular? Seven? 
Oh no, it's funny. It's true. Uh, oh yeah, they are laughing. Uh, Look at number seven, guys. They are laughing. Se ven bien serios, así se ríen ellos. Yeah, but I think this one will be funny. It's funny. true. It's true. It's true. Oh sorry. Funny here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Ah. Oh, ¿por qué no se suelta? Se fue para arriba. Oh my God. So now. Ah! <laughs> okay, there. Okay, so we have polite, polite, polite is amable. So tired. Uh, oh, this one is polite, don't you think? Yeah. 11, oh, okay. polite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Agree. Right. Yeah, opening opening the door for the elderly. Okay, cheerful. So we have confident, shy, and cheerful. So you say that 12 is shy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. 12 is shy. Cheerful. And I will say that this person is confident because this person cheerful. looks cheerful. Cheerful. This one? Cheerful. Number two. Um, yeah. No, number two, I think is confident. Don't you? Yeah. So that's even like, like this person knows what he's doing. And cheerful, I will say here. Yeah. yeah. Don't you, do you have any other ones or do you think I'm mistaken? Do you think there is a mistake or not? Mm, no, it's okay. It's all good. We're not going to complete all the things. We're going to complete only this one. That part right there. Let's see. Good, 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 good. This one is good, good, good. Yes, we did a good job, guys. Perfect. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Do you think you're good describing people just by looking at them? Looking at them? Yes. Yeah? Like yeah. you see a person and you're like, mm, this person is like this and this and this. Or do you think that we have to know the person and we have to meet the people to, to, to make sure if they are like we think? What do you think? Just by looking at them and you can describe the person or you need to get to know them? I see uh, looking and listen um, and I speak with, with them. <laughs> Okay, okay. Mm. Who else? Nobody else? <laughs> you don't work at human I resources? You need to know the person, Mariela? Yes, yes. I need yes. to know the person. Okay, okay. You don't, anyone How here do you work? say oh? las apariencias engañan? Appearances. <laughs> you cannot trust appearances. Can trust appearances. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes, and this is really something that is true. Sometimes you meet people and they are really nice and they are dressed mm. up fine and they speak really good. And I don't know, they are really easy with the words. Everything is fine. But when you get to know the real person, it's different. Have you ever experience that situation? Nope. I have. Mm. I have. Like we will say in the good Spanish, me voy en la chicahuita. And then I, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that was not something that was like that. Yes, sometimes that happens. Okay, let's watch a little video before we go because it's almost time to leave. And then let's see here. The title is Expressing Regret. What is regret, guys? Regret. Exactly. And describing hypothetical situations. Let's watch the video. You have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret 
and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? I'm sorry. That was that was the person in the video, right? Like the dogs barking at, at the background. Yeah, that was that was the person in the video, right? Yeah, no, something like that. I don't know. Well, anyhow, so to express and to talk about hypothetical situations, for example, I always thought that when I was learning English, how do you say it? Yo, yeah. Oh no, it was Sirhan's dog. Oh, oh, I thought it was in the video. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see the hands up. <laughs> I was like, why? Anyways, <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> um, yes, I'm saying hypoth hypothetical situations. How do you say yo hubiera hecho esto? Or I should or, yo debería haber hecho tal cosa. So so to say that is I should have. And then the verb with the past participle. For example, I should have learned English when I was younger, but I didn't, right? That's something that we say all the time. And I will always tell my students, as you know, I work at a public school in the mornings. I always say, hey guys, English is very important. You need to learn English because when you get older, you're gonna understand that English was really important. And they are like, nah, but English is boring. English is difficult. And they are like that. But I guess in the future, they are going to remember me and they're going to say, yeah, the teacher was right. English is very important, but kids don't pay attention. So to talk about that situation, hypothetical situation, because we're talking about that something that should have happened, but it didn't. So I should have learned English when I was younger. So, or I should have eaten healthier when I was younger, because now I have health problems because I didn't eat healthy, right? So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. For now, this is the class. And remember that this module, we're gonna be working from Monday to Friday, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, have a good night. Yeah, teacher, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.